Hey YouTube, updating the uh, switches to the current iOS. Also going to enable the SFP ports. Overall, it's coming well together. A little mess with cable management. Had to take stuff apart to install these. Um, we have a lot of stuff just laying around. If you guys want to see RAM, that is from here to here, 64 gigabytes of RAM. These are all 16 gigs. I have a lot of like 8 gigs just laying around, but they are going to go in there. And decided to keep these. We'll have a little lab with them. And updating the other Cisco Catalyst. Uh, a lot of people are asking me my core switches, my core network, my core router. So the edge router does all the routing. The cable is bad. You replace it. So edge router comes in. So Comcast Business comes in here. And uh, this is the current LAN. And I'm rebuilding this one to be going through a virtual firewall that's going to be hosted in one of these hosts. It's going to be PFSense. Going to install IDS, IPS protection for intrusion pre prevention system and preventing system from anomalies and other attacks. So that's a little update now. So this is my edge side. This is all where all my access points, laptops, desktops. You need to connect to here. So this is a whole house on this side. So from there, we're gonna use this fiber and trunk it to the back switch, which is the core switch. And this switch will have be the edge switch along with the edge router going back over here. So as you guys can see, there will be two uplinks from to coming into this switch. So the first one would be the edge router, which I have to still enable and program this SFP port. And this would be the second edge switch. Um, one gigabit uplink is plenty. Uh, it replaces copper, which I like to I like to uh, trunk my uh, and daisy chain my uh, switches with fiber rather than copper. But that's my preferability. Um, other than that. Just updating the iOS, it should be done. Let's see. Yeah, looks like it's been done. So I just gotta probably enable it, let it boot to that iOS, and uh, start up with a new fresh uh, thing. I like using this little uh, GUI interface, but most of the configuration I guess I'll have to do through CLI. But So I got my label for my core switch. And my edge switch, so kind of there. Um, but other than that, that is pretty much it for the update. And uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, share for the videos.